Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import web-based data in your Power BI desktop using the API. So if you don't know the same, please proceed by watching this video. First of all, we need to understand what is the API. API is application programming interface, which allows two or more software components to interact with each other, to communicate with each other uh, through the protocols, okay? So in order to import the web-based data in your Power BI desktop through the API, we need to visit one website. So on the screen, here you can see the website uh, that is polygon.io. So this uh, website is quite, uh, quite useful uh, to import the or to get the real-time data related to the stocks, uh, cur different currencies uh, like uh, crypto and forex. So uh, I'm going to uh, show you how you can import the data related to the stocks, okay? So uh, after visiting the, uh, visiting the website, here you will get the option like uh, login or the sign up. So just provide the credentials and get login into it. And just uh, at the left si uh, side here, you can see the different, different products. So just click on the stocks and just uh, subscribe for the basic version, okay? And in, in the developer tabs, you can see the uh, like different options like uh, API keys, RESTful docs, and WebSocket docs. So just click on the Re uh, RESTful docs. And here you can see the REST APIs for the different, different like uh, topics. So I'm going to show you for the aggregated parts. Okay, just click on that. And here uh, you can see the de description for the for the same. And here we need to provide the parameters, okay? So by default, we have the parameter like a uh, stock sticker is Apple. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to show you how we can import the data related to the Apple stock, okay? So um, here we can uh, we can see the parameters. So for the till time span, I'm going to keep uh, as it is all the parameters and the, for the from date we have here uh, so i'm going to basically change from first of jan to 2021 i want data from this date to this date okay you can change the uh, end date also and here we can uh, another parameter we have adjusted so you can choose the true or false as per your requirement. Basically, it is uh, if uh, the share gets uh, split between the this uh, date range. So we'll get the data according to that. So you can uh, change the parameter as per your requirement. Then we uh, we have here the uh, sort, like you can choose the ascending and the descending. Then you can also choose the limits for. So I'm going to choose here 500s, okay? And just scroll down. After providing the all the parameters, you have to run the query. And here you can see the APIs get generated. Just copy that. Uh, navigate to the our Power BI desktop and just click on Get Data. Go to the web. Uh, just paste the uh, copied query over here. Click on OK. Okay. So it will ask for you the some access uh, grants. Just keep by default. Click on connect. It will uh, take you to the Power Query Editor. So here you can see. So all the Apple related data for the time span on like whatever the data range we have selected, device data is uh, imported over here. Just rename it. I'm going to provide here Apple, okay? Now, uh, suppose you want to get the data for the Amazon also. Just click on the new source, go to the web, okay? And here, uh, I want like uh, data for the Amazon. You just need to mention the ticker for the Amazon stock, okay? So I'm going to provide here AMZN, so which is the ticker name for the Amazon stock, okay? Again, you need to run the query. Uh, uh, the remaining parameter I'm going to keep as it is. 
just run the query copy the code paste over here and click on ok just wait copy the code once again and okay click on okay it will take some time yeah so here you can see the amount for the data for the amazon it's here just re rename it okay and after that you just need to click on close and apply after that here you can see the data is started to load and we have total of uh, 494 rows in each table Wait a while. So it's taking a time. Yeah. So here you can see the data is successfully imported in our Power BI desktop. And using this data, you can create a report. So I hope you understood how to connect the you know, web API and how to enter the parameters, how to you know get connected with that API. So I hope you understood. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.